This is Mike with 5-Minute Guide. Um, this video is going to show you how you can create multiple drop-down lists using data validation in Excel uh, in a matter of a couple of seconds. Uh, it's, it's actually a pretty quick and easy process. So to get started, uh, I have here a blank sheet. Uh, you can have a blank sheet or you can have a sheet that you've already formatted and you pretty much know where your data validation drop-down lists are going to go. Um, and then I have a second sheet where my data actually lives. So on this second sheet, I have a list of animals. To make this easier on myself, I'm going to highlight the entire list. And then up in the top left-hand corner where it tells me the first cell that I've highlighted, I'm going to click up there and I'm going to give this list a name. So I'm going to call this list animals. Type in animals, hit enter. Now this particular group of cells, D2 through D8, is referred to by Excel as animals. Anytime you type animals in a formula somewhere, Excel is going to interpret it to mean this group of cells on this particular sheet, uh, which is really helpful for what we're going to be doing next. Uh, next, we'll flip back over to our first sheet. You can choose a single cell, you can choose a group of cells, or you can even choose the entire column if you'd like to. Uh, that might be a little bit of overkill, but It'll work for us. Um, and you'll choose validate. Uh, up in the ribbon under data, you'll find validate. Uh, if you're using a version of Excel that doesn't have the ribbon, click data at the top and scroll down to data validation. So you'll see validation criteria allow any value. Uh, any value is the default. Excel will let you put pretty much whatever you want into the cells. Uh, we can change that so it will refuse any type of input unless it fits a certain criteria. So we want it to be a list. This tells Excel to create a drop-down list and only those things in the list are allowed in that cell. So you can, as your source, start listing things, dogs, comma, cats, comma, and so on, but that's annoying. Um, alternatively, you can hit the equal sign and go highlight the cells that you want to use. So we can highlight those cells, but that also gets annoying. Um, alternatively, you can enter the name for those cells that you used earlier. Now you'll see that Excel has created a drop-down list in D1. If we click on any other cell in the column D, we'll get this list. This is because we had the entire column highlighted when we started doing the data validation. So another thing that you'll notice is when you don't have the cell highlighted, it seems like there's no list there. But when you target that cell, the list appears and you're able to open it up and choose an option. So if this video has been helpful, please share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. If you've got any questions about this or if there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, go ahead and leave us a comment and we'll tackle it as quickly as we can. Uh, other than that, thanks a lot. Have a good one.